Hey there, happy Friday. I am Daniel Norton. Welcome to my studio here in New York City. And I'm gonna talk about something a little bit more abstract, I think, today. And this is the idea that sometimes we can't always get what we want. No, that's a Rolling Stones song. We, we can't always achieve the thing that's in our brain or our mind or our ideas, but that doesn't mean that we can't achieve something great. I think that what happens a lot of times, I think I've mentioned this before, I talk about it sometimes, is I think about like students and like uh, people that are, are new. So I say young people. Whenever I say young people, I'm talking about somebody new to an art. They generally have all these great ideas, right? They've got all these ideas, but they don't necessarily have the skill set to pull it off, right? They're learning. And then you've got people that have been around a long time and maybe they've done a bunch of stuff so they don't have as many interesting ideas, but they do have the skill set to pull it off. <laughs> so it's this weird like, right, uh, uh, situation. But I think when we are, let's address the, uh, we'll address the young uh, thing in this video. When you're looking at possible ideas, what you really need to do is set yourself some kind of realistic, what we're gonna call it a scope. Um, I'm taking a writing class and they, they talk about that. They're like, oh, you're gonna write this, have a scope before you even start. It's gonna be this many uh, words for this long or whatever, right? So this is what we need to do as well. We need to look at our, our idea, our ideas, or and look at them within a, a scope of what we have available to us. We have, we can look at it very mechanically. We can say, we have these lenses, right? We have these resources as far as locations. We have these uh, pieces of lighting gear. We have these subjects. This is what we've got. What can we make with what we have that will move us forward? Because what we always want to be doing is moving forward. You might have an idea that requires, you know, uh, triplets. But if you don't know any triplets, for you to just not shoot just seems like it might not be a good idea. What about getting people that are similar looking or possibly just wearing the same clothes, you know, to do that idea? Would that work? Uh, you know, makeup and hairstyling stuff can really help you in that, that, uh, in that way. Uh, I think I've heard said this before, but I used to work for this one photographer and he would do Revlon and uh, the models would always come in in the morning and you'd meet them and whatever. And then they'd go in the back for makeup for a couple hours and they'd come out and you would not know them anymore because they all kind of looked the same because there was like a certain look that Revlon had, right? Like, a, So <laughs> you'd be like, Sally, right? So, But anyways, my point being is that Hair makeup can do a lot. I'm not saying disguise people, but I'm saying that if you wanted to do this this look and you had this idea of you know these three brunette twins, you know dressed in 1920s clothes, you could get 1920s clothes. You could get three brunette brunettes who are similar in build and and, and appearance, maybe with the same kind of ethnic background as close as possible, and then do their hair and makeup the same so they they can be closer to the same. They might not be exactly the same, but it will be something that's more realistic because to find triplets that are exactly what you want might not work, right? And you might not have access to those clothes, so maybe we start thinking about it. Maybe we look for something that's like that, something that's accessible to us. Is there a place that we can rent it? Are there prop shops? If not, maybe we have to look for something, something else. It'll at least get us moving forward. You can always go back to the project when you have more resources. In fact, doing it and then showing it, let's say ultimately it's gonna be sold to, you wanna sell it to some clothing company. So, you know, maybe you can't use their clothes, you don't have access to it, right? So you're going to use something close and then you're going to show it to them and be like, look, I can do this project for you. And then now you've got money and more resources, then you can start pulling in maybe more of exactly what you wanted. And I think that's something that's sometimes hard for us to, to, to do, right? We have an idea and we're waiting. We're like, no, 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 this is this. And then a lot of times there's always like this like third party person that's like, oh yeah, you know, I know a friend who has a friend that has a speedboat. Oh, cool, we'll, we'll wait to do it because we want a speedboat. And then it never gets done. So what I want to say to people who are just starting or wherever you are, honestly, um, is it's better to do something than nothing, <laughs> which seems pretty simple, but don't always feel like it has to be 100% exactly what you're saying in order to move forward unless you are in the position to do that. And many of us are not, at least not for every project we want to do. Not all of us can reach out and pull whatever we want, right? We're going to always be somewhat limited and we have to understand that and learn to work with it. And for those who are, well, I'll do another video about people, who, old people. So forget about you old people yet. We'll get to you later um, looking for motivation. We'll do, let me know if you guys want to see a video like that about like how to kind of 
recharge yourself if you've been doing this for a long time. If you find yourself in a position where you've been doing photography a long time and you just don't have good ideas and you, you good ideas, and you want to know kind of how to feed your idea bank, we can make a video about that because I think that's kind of an interesting subject, but I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like a lot of people that watch this might be more kind of people just getting in, but let me know if you are experienced or you're just wherever you are in your career and you feel like you're in a slump or you want to kind of uh, talk a little bit about kind of getting out of that, right? But for those of you who are starting or on limited resources, what I say is keep your project simple. Don't completely disregard your ideas. Have your big ideas. Put them in a notebook. You know, set up your, your, your mood boards. But know that you're better off doing the closest thing you can do with your resources than waiting forever for that moment to come that that thing will work for you. So in any case, if you have not already, guys, go ahead, subscribe, ring the bell, see all notifications, that kind of goodness, and I will see you next time.